Hello everyone, it's Melissa and today I thought I would share an updated craft room tour. And so I probably am going to put this into two parts. So yeah, I let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to do a once over span of the room. So here's where you come into my room, right here. I don't have a door. Um, I currently have a <laughs> baby gate because of the puppy. But so, um, so yeah. You're gonna come in here and now I'm at the door and okay so <clears throat> excuse me I kind of think that I will just kind of keep it basic and if you have any detailed questions I'd be happy to answer them so these are some old IKEA shelves they don't I don't think make these anymore but um, yeah they go to the ceiling I just have uh, extra albums and then these are all of my yearly albums and project life albums um, <clears throat> I just vary up the colors just because it's fun and then this is a paper 12 by 12 paper storage rack that I purchased from a, a local scrapbook store probably like 10 or 12 I don't know, 11 years ago when they were going out of business and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator so I these are all Stampin' Up! papers and I've just collected over the years and then to label them I just took a tab punch and used a little bit of a stapler but then on the other side I put the name of the cardstock here because in order to get all of these to fit I had to do um, some of these have two colors and then I have them divided with a 12 by 12 piece of um, craft colored chipboard so and I do have 12 by 12 eight and a half by 11 in here and this is just a system that works for me and I like it I love that it's in you know rainbow order so um, on the top here just some paintings I made at, at one of those art nights this is um, my typewriter you guys no, I use that for uh, almost all of my journaling. I just have it on a TV tray here, which makes it very mobile for me to move around my space. Um, this is a piece of printable that I got on Pinterest from Amy Tangerine. And this is just a Brother GX6750. I know they don't sell this anymore at Walmart, but that's where I got this years, years ago. So behind the curtain is just um, storage for like paper towels and napkins and things. So uh, I just have my little, um, this is like an electrical board. So the doors to the board are magnetic. So I just utilize it for art stuff. Some layouts that I love, photos that I love. I have cards from some very important people in my life and um, yeah. Some artwork from my kids this um, this table here is from Ikea it's just an old chair I just have a mat from Ikea it's just for when um, my craft space overflow <coughs> excuse me to be honest and when I have friends come um, you know this is my filming setup at the moment I just started doing process videos so I have nothing fancy and yeah it's just what works for me and I just roll with it so I used to be a cover designer for a local um, scrapbooking magazine here in Michigan. And so throughout the space, you'll see I have framed all of the layouts and put them on the wall um, just to display them in these um, shadow box, 12 by 12 boxes. All right, so um, without getting into too much detail, on my desk here is my tool caddy, which, you know, like most people, it has all their most used tools, loved tools. And let's see, I keep my iPad here so I can watch videos. I have this container back there behind my iPad is full of all my enamel dots. They're not in any order. I just flip through them when I want them. This little tower here for my marker storage, I've got Copics up there uh, in Zig below. And then these are Spectrum Noir markers. I don't really use them that much. Um, on the top here is just, you'll see I'm trying to make my way through these old um, like alphabet puffy stickers. I'm using them as dimensionals. 
here's my product jar and just some Nuvo drops and my water mister. And I've got my op light. Um, this is a project I'm currently working on. Uh, oh, down below there in that white container is my, um, you know, my cleaning cloth. That's my, my stamp chamois. And I just put it in, this is from Target a while ago. It's just like an open container. And then down there are some clips because I, I love using clips of all sorts. Um, here I keep project or items I want to use right away, new product, and then my stories by the month. I just keep them in here. I have all of my water pens here, and then this is like a Tim Holtz little splatter thing. These most of these are Vicky Booten, and I love I love them. They've got fun different size brush tips, and so in the drawers below here. Um, Let's see, the first one, one of these is super squeaky, so I'm gonna apologize now. Uh, okay, so pens, paint brushes, staplers, and extra staples and miscellaneous Sharpie markers. Uh, the next one is foam dots, glue dots, my most used ink pads, and stamp blocks. Which, you know, I don't reach for very often now that I have the Misty and my Stampin' Up tool. I've got some small ink pads that I use, index cards, my Stampin' Trimmer, and my small trimmer. I do now have the Stampin' Up trimmer, which I love. There's my Misty, a bunch of stamp press, and my, my stamping apparatus from Stampin' Up. And then the last drawer in the bottom, it just has like my little bits. Like if I cut extras of things, I put them in here and just use them as I go. It's just a tray. It's you know, none of the drawers are totally full, but that's fine. So, like I mentioned, I have the Stampin' Up! trimmer, which I totally love. And then I have the Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. And then um, on the side here is my Martha Stewart board and my label maker. And then these drawers here, uh, my kids like to craft and whatnot. So, in here are like the Michaels cardstock and, um, you know, my, not my expensive Stampin' Up! cardstock. I keep that other places, but this is the scraps. So whenever they want to craft, before they grab a fresh sheet of paper, and even me for that matter, we always come to these drawers and see if we can um, utilize something out of there first. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting over a cold, so I apologize for clearing my throat. So this is the Clip It Up, and it's three, three tiers, and I bought it years ago, but I, that company's not in business anymore. But essentially, I keep all of my, um, well, let me backtrack for a second. I am a themed scrapbooker, so that's the way my, and card maker, paper crafter, that's the way my mind works, and so that's the way I store items. So, as you'll see throughout the video, I have items stored kind of by theme, but I really, I know everything I've got, where it's at. So I have, like, birthday, I have animals, I have sports baby, graduation, school, um, art, travel. And then this next row here, um, these are my thickers. <laughs> this is them. This is all I have. And I just try to make my way through them. Um, I haven't bought stickers in a really long time, or thickers, although I have picked up like one of these sets recently from Walmart. Because I like the words. They're already done. So that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah. And then keeping in the theme of thickers on this spinner as well. To this side are all my alphabet stamps. In this little section right here. And then these are all my tile stickers in this section right here. So that's all I have. And I try to keep it to a minimum. I I, if you guys saw my haul video, I did mention I'm very particular about what I bring into my space. If I could have told myself, my crafty self, 10, 15 years ago, that you don't need all the things to be creative, yeah, I wouldn't be working through my stash like all the time and not bringing in a ton of new stuff because in the beginning, you feel like you have to have everything. You have to have every tool, every, everything. And it's just not, it's, uh, anyway, that's something I would tell my, 
my past self if I could. Uh, so these stamps here, these are all what I consider um, background-ish type stamps. So they're stamps um, that could be used to make backgrounds. These in this section here are all foodie, coffee related right here. And then, um, like I mentioned, being a theme scrapper, on the bottom here, like this is like a barbecue related section. So I have like a couple barbecue pads of paper, or not pads of paper, sheets of paper and stickers in with that because that helps, you know, remind me that, oh yeah, this is what I've got for barbecue stuff. This is like new home stuff, like welcome to your new home and those types of things. So I do have stickers and like some Jolie embellishments and washi and whatnot. Um, in this section because I want to remember to use this is my house section of stuff Here are my birthday embellishments. I've got a couple of stickers and um, Pieces of ephemera October afternoon. I'm just trying to work my way through and so that's the birthday section now moving this along uh, These are my holiday Clear stamps, so I run you know, just like February to the end of the year so minus, you know, some holidays, but this is like St. Patty's Day, Easter. And then I have some sympathy cards in here um, or sympathy stamps and, um, you know, get well and, and those types of things, just positive reinforcement stamps. And then these are some Avery tabs here. And then um, you guys remember if you've been scrapping for any length of time, the, um, the gems were really a big big thing so I whenever possible I try to work my way through these this is what I've got left um, not much thankfully I used to the expos used to sell like 10 for 10 or stuff like that so yeah making my way through that little bunch that I've got left um, these next stamps in this section here sorry if my hand is wobbly I apologize are um, kind of shape related and whatnot <clears throat> excuse me circles those types of things. So I know if I'm looking for a circle or something, this is where I go. Um, you guys know I make uh, like my homemade flare enamel dots and that's just these pieces here. I buy these circles off of eBay. They're in several different sizes and I like doing that. It helps utilize my stuff. Then a couple things of chipboard, a couple of things of corrugated cardboard and cork which you can cut into whatever you want. All right so <clears throat> excuse me I'm coming around the corner here I'll turn the light on is an old secretary desk it's my husband's grandfather's or it was his and we got it um, up here is a clip it up ribbon holder that I've had forever um, I, that's another thing I'm trying to make my way through whenever possible I just have it kind of in rainbow order um, I have just my copy paper here um, like I said I, I keep on display um, items from people that were made for me that you know, I love and I care about. So um, here's an uh, old book for old book pages. Here's some Stampin' Up! markers. I just keep them in here um, for when I need them. This is just from 31. I just, I, I like it because it's got a camera on it. And then here, this is my card storage. And I'll try to explain it as best as possible without getting into too much detail. But really, each one of these slots is labeled and um like if i have teacher you guys maybe saw me make those teacher gifts i'm giving those in another week or so but they all are labeled like thinking of you and whatnot and then this section here is my birthday section so it goes january to june and then july to december and what i do is is these are just um, you know pieces of cardboard and I put people's birthdays on there and the date and then on clear envelopes I um, label them so as I make cards um, this is also to keep me from doing duplicates as well but as I make cards I put them in the slot so they're ready so I know, you know like this whole section is basically empty except for a couple that I made just recently and then this one's for my son his birthday's next week and then this is a June birthday I only have one and then I go right into July. And I also keep anniversary cards in here for friends and family that I don't want to forget. So, uh, yeah. And then this is a storage closet. It's got all my kids' crafts in it. These are some tissue flowers that my littles made me. And then over here, let's see where my time's at. Over here is a shelving area. And 
just has some odds and ends on it. I don't know like how much detail you want to see, but these are like some storage envelopes, old scrapbooks I don't want to get rid of, some idea books, some kits, um, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Like I said, I've been a demonstrator for 12 years, so I have a lot. I've got an extra trimmer for my kiddos, a three-hole punch, some extra twine, and then these are just miscellaneous, some storage items as far as glue sticks and tape and those types of things, duct tape. And my digital camera's up there. So uh, this next shelf is all my wood stamps. These are ones that I cannot part with uh, no matter what because I love them and they're all labeled and I know where everything's at and I try to be I try to be good about that. Um, you know, I'm really big on using my stuff. So, you know, here's some stamps that are labeled um, that have matching punches, uh, multi-seasonal. I've got the labels here. Uh, everything's labeled here. This one is labeled with outdoor woodland Christmas type dies and stamps. Uh, this is all like food, animals, home stamps. Um, and yeah, I just know where it's at. My, this is my space and I'm in here a lot. And so I know where everything's at. Like these are all my background stamps and yeah, I'm really good about keeping track of, I don't want to say my inventory, so let's call it my stash. <laughs> and then these are some wood holiday stamps that I don't want to get rid of. And again, this is not even Christmas and, um, Thanksgiving and those types of things because I have other spikes pieces for those. This is just some homemade papers that my kids have made and just some um, masking papers and things. And this is my glass mat for cutting. And then down here, this third shelf, this is my sewing machine, fabric, uh, some thread, extra fabric. These are my oxide ink. Uh, like I make little swatches and keep all the sponges in there. This is a little embellishment caddy with all my brads and buttons. Um, yeah, this these two down here are some twines that I threaded up in there in rainbow order. Super pretty. Um, down here is twine. Um, I've got some sewing templates and then some miscellaneous ribbon. Uh, in here is uh, basically tools that I don't use very often. So uh, like envelope punch boards and glitter trays and um, these makeup sponges and um, oh so some tip for you guys if you guys have old ribbon like I do and most people do uh, it gets all wrinkly and weird so I bought this at Walmart it's very inexpensive flat iron and if it's a really really wrinkled I do it on high but I, otherwise I set this on low and then run my ribbon through this a couple times and it's good as new. So just a little tip for you. Uh, let's see. This is basically empty. It just has some containers. This is how I keep my embossing folders. I just keep them in a binder and they're all labeled. That little container is my stencils right here. I don't have very many. But then these are just some chipboard pieces in case I want to cut stuff out and make. Um, you remember there was a time when mini albums were all the rage? So there's that. Um, these are some like old art things for my kids. This is my Tim Holtz uh, regular ink. And then I have this tray that I've got from Ikea. Holds my blending sponges. And then there is my oxide ink. This is when I want to play with uh, like brush lettering. I keep all that in there. Then I have some Bristol and watercolor paper. This is a pap this is a box for um, envelopes and Ziploc bags and whatnot. These are some extra punches that I have that I don't want to get rid of. That's a cutter. This is um, some love alphabet dies in that bag, quick cuts. And in this is felt. Which I mean it's not full. None of these boxes are full, but that's where I keep it. Okay, so I'm gonna move slowly. So Here's the area that we're going to do next. I don't know. Did you see my little pop pop? <laughs> okay. So here is my Rascog cart. And uh, nothing's really changed since I organized this 
the last time and if I remember I will put a link up here into that video and I just have everything organized that way uh, this closet here I just made a little drape thing this is storage extra storage it's huge in here but I keep my Xyron and printer tools up there light box this is my embossing stuff that's empty um, some wrapping stuff it's kind of a hodgepodge and then some canvases and things and a lot of uh, like storage for when I go cases for when I go to friends houses to craft I have these two spice racks that I got from Home Depot and they are full of more <laughs> alphas uh, mixed media stuff flowers gems uh, buttons and more paper flowers and I don't know just a hodgepodge of stuff these are all my paints and those are buttons this is mixed media glitter and mists and some mod podge and then let's see I keep some tables because I host a lot of crafting events ironing board and some extra mats for my friends and then on this side a travel suitcase and uh, so let's see I have all my envelopes there in that basket and then as you can see these are all labeled containers and so the top one holds fall stuff Christmas stuff Halloween stuff this one has some miscellaneous um, like chipboard and acrylic stuff that mostly for mini albums which I don't make a ton of but I'm not ready to get rid of uh, some metal embellishments that box is doilies Christmas washi this is just Obviously, I have a small candy problem. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and then this is some Christmas embellishments. This is Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. And then that's Christmas. Uh, so, yeah. Let me get out of the closet here. All right. I'm going to stop the video here and start again right here. <laughs>